I am live in three, two, one. At one of Kenya's leading radio stations, it's about more than just the music. I've been told shame is what keeps us sick. Host Caroline Motoko is known for being unafraid to broach social taboos with her guests. Today's topic is extremely sensitive. A TV ad promoting condom use in Kenya, an ad that has sparked fierce debate. When I see these arguments going around in circles, it has been like pretending it really got me down. Oh. I lost my dad. The arguments center around what some see as the appropriateness of the ad, which features a woman in an extramarital affair who's advised to use condoms. The ad was pulled after religious leaders said it encouraged infidelity among women, not safer sex. But Kenyans like Philip Ogola disagree, and he's using the show to speak publicly about a very personal issue. He says his father, afraid of social stigma, hid his HIV-positive diagnosis from the family for years. He told me, son, I f***ed you. You make the same mistake. Okay. Three months later, my sister died. We've come from a place where we kept saying, stop with the extramarital affair. And then we moved on a bit further and said, there's a cost to the extramarital affair. And when that message didn't seem, you know, to get through, I said, okay. Considering that this is, and as you noticed from the conversation, this is considered okay and normal in Kenya? Okay, in that case, make sure you protect the ones you love. Kenya's deputy director of national AIDS and STI control joined the show to drive home what he says were the key issues behind the ad. This is an epidemic that has been here for 30 years. We've been dealing with AIDS for 30 years. And uh, I think since that time, um, we're talking about 1.6 million people who are infected. We're talking about more than 2 million people who've died since. Um, every year we're talking about at least 50,000 people who are dying from HIV. 30% of women actually have a, more than one partner. And we need to talk about it. We need to be very bold and very frank about it. Why are you smiling? As more and more Kenyans continue to push these issues out into the open, this is a conversation that may only just be getting started. It's a quarter past eight on Kenya's number one hit music station. This is Kiss 100. Chris Brown here and don't wake me up. Um, you know what? I think we just woke up. Yes, we did. Nairobi.